Have you ever wondered how health information seamlessly moves from one system to another? This remarkable feat is possible due to health IT standards. These standards act as a common language, allowing different health IT systems to understand and exchange data effectively. They play a crucial role in interoperability, ensuring that health data can be shared across various systems and platforms without any hiccups. Think of these standards as the grammar rules of a language. Without them, communication would be impossible. Now who's behind these standards? Enter HL7. Health Level 7, or HL7, is a not-for-profit organization that has been at the forefront of developing health IT standards. Since its inception in 1987, HL7 has been shaping these standards, enabling the seamless exchange of health information that we see today. HL7 is the not-for-profit organization that has been shaping these standards since 1987. HL7 has a packed calendar of events that cater to a diverse audience. Let's walk you through some of the highlights coming up in the next few months. First off, we have a virtual event happening from January 29th through February 2nd, 2024. It's a golden opportunity for those who can't make it to physical events, but want to keep up to speed with the latest in health IT standards. Following this, there's an in-person event scheduled in Washington, D.C. on February 12th and 13th. This is a fantastic chance to network with peers, share ideas, and learn from experts in the field. In addition to these events, an online workshop is set to run from February 8th to May 2nd. This workshop is geared towards fostering an environment of learning by doing, with a focus on interoperability, a critical aspect of health IT. Now, if you're keen on getting involved in the nitty-gritty of health IT standards, the January Working Group meeting is taking place in the UTC time zone. It's a great platform to discuss, contribute, and shape the future of health IT standards. Also on the agenda is the HL7 CCDA Implementation Athon and the May Working Group meeting and HL7 FHIR Connectathon. These events provide a unique opportunity to dive deep into HL7's FHIR standards and their implementation. Last but certainly not least, the 38th Annual Plenary, Working Group Meeting, and HL7 FHIR Connectathon are events not to be missed. These flagship events are a melting pot of ideas, collaboration, and innovation in the world of health IT. Alongside these events and workshops, HL7 also offers various FHIR implementation guide design and maintenance courses. These courses are designed to equip you with the knowledge and skills needed to navigate the complex landscape of health IT standards. So mark your calendars and make sure you are part of these enlightening events. Have you heard about the HL7 FHIR Accelerator Program? This initiative is a significant stride forward in the world of health IT standards. The program is a part of the not-for-profit standards developing organization, HL7, founded in 1987, and it is playing a crucial role in the health IT sector. The HL7 FHIR Accelerator Program primarily focuses on supporting fast healthcare interoperability resources, also known as FHIR implementations. The term FHIR might seem like an industry jargon, but it's simpler than it sounds. Essentially, FHIR is a standard for exchanging healthcare information electronically. It's all about interoperability, about making systems talk to each other to improve patient care. The Accelerator Program, as the name suggests, is designed to speed up the adoption of these FHIR standards. It's about putting the pedal to the metal and driving forward the implementation of these vital standards in healthcare systems across the world. The HL7 FHIR Accelerator Program is not just about implementation though, it's also deeply involved in adoption activities. These are initiatives aimed at ensuring that healthcare systems not only implement the FHIR standards, but also fully adopt them into their routine operations. This includes providing resources, guidance, and support to healthcare organizations to help them integrate these standards into their systems and processes. The main objective of the Accelerator program is to create an environment where the implementation and adoption of FHIR standards are the norm rather than the exception. It's about ensuring that these standards become a fundamental part of the fabric of healthcare IT systems. This program is a testament to HL7's commitment to advancing health IT standards. It's a shining example of their dedication to fostering an environment of interoperability and standardization in the healthcare sector. And there you have it. 
The HL7 FHIR Accelerator Program is not only supporting the implementation of FHIR standards, but is also actively promoting their adoption across healthcare systems worldwide. This program is truly accelerating the adoption of health IT standards across the globe. HL7 is not just about creating standards, but also about educating the health IT community. This is where HL7's comprehensive suite of courses comes into play. These courses are designed to provide an in-depth understanding of the various aspects of HL7 standards and their practical implementation. Let's start with the HL7 Fundamentals course. This course is the perfect starting point for anyone who's new to the world of health IT standards. It provides a solid foundation and an overview of HL7, its structure, and its standards. Upon completion, participants will have a firm grasp of the basics and be ready to dive deeper into the more complex aspects of HL7. Next, we have the HL7 FHIR Intermediate Course. This course is designed for those who have a basic understanding of HL7 and are ready to take the next step. It delves into the details of the HL7 FHIR standard, exploring its components, its architecture, and how it can be used to achieve interoperability in healthcare systems. This course is a must for anyone looking to implement HL7 FHIR in their organization. In addition to these, HL7 also offers a range of HL7 FHIR implementation guide design and maintenance courses. These courses take a learning by doing approach, providing hands-on experience in designing and maintaining FHIR implementation guides. They focus on practical aspects, ensuring that learners can immediately apply what they've learned in their professional lives. HL7's commitment to education is clear. These courses are not just about disseminating information, they're about empowering the health IT community, about fostering innovation and promoting the use of standards. With these courses, HL7 is making sure that the health IT community is well equipped to use these standards. HL7 is thankful to its benefactors for their support. These generous contributors play a critical role in propelling the mission of HL7 forward. It's through their backing that HL7 can continue its pursuit of improving global health by making healthcare information universally accessible and useful. The benefactor's support allows HL7 to establish and promote standards that enable interoperability. This in turn aids in the development of comprehensive health data management systems, ensuring that healthcare providers and patients can access the information they need when they need it. And it's not just about financial support. Benefactors also contribute their time, expertise and insight, helping to shape the direction of HL7's initiatives and strategic goals. Their influence is felt throughout the organization and in the wider health IT community. But it's not just the benefactors who play a part in HL7's work. The organization offers a wealth of resources for health IT professionals and students alike. From the Health IT Membership, which provides access to a range of exclusive benefits and resources, to free on-demand resources for students, HL7 is committed to fostering a well-informed and skilled health IT workforce. Members can take advantage of resources such as online workshops, working group meetings, and courses that focus on HL7 fundamentals and HL7 FHIR implementation guide design and maintenance. They also have access to the HL7 FHIR Accelerator program, which supports FHIR implementations and adoption activities. For students, free resources on demand provide a valuable stepping stone into the world of health IT. These resources offer an introduction to key concepts and provide a solid foundation on which to build a career in this rapidly evolving field. With the support of its benefactors and the resources it offers, HL7 is making a huge impact in the world of health IT. So, what's the takeaway from all of this? We've delved into the world of health IT standards, highlighting the vital role of HL7, a not-for-profit organization that's been developing these standards since 1987. We've underscored the importance of the upcoming events, including the virtual event and the Washington DC event, along with the online workshops that focus on interoperability and learning by doing. We've explored the HL7 FHIR Accelerator Program and its commitment to supporting FHIR implementations and adoption activities. We've also touched upon the variety of HL7 courses available, from fundamentals to intermediate levels, designed to further your understanding and expertise in health IT. Lastly, we've highlighted the invaluable resources available for members and students alike, 
as well as the commendable support from HL7 benefactors. All these elements combined underscore HL7's commitment to fostering an environment of learning and growth in the health IT sector. Remember, health IT standards are the backbone of interoperability, and HL7 is at the forefront of developing these standards.